We um, appreciate it. It's so weird because, um, like, you know, I when I before I started like vining, I um, oh after I started vining, I applied to college and I was like ready to go to college. Right. Um, I applied to Mizzou. It's in Missouri, and it was What's like that like, is that like a big party school. Yeah, it was like a popular like choice for kids here, and I was ready to go because I I didn't care for college. I just I didn't care. I didn't care to visit a college. I was just gonna do what everybody else liked. Right. So I'm like I saw like a lot of people like Mizzou. So I'm like fuck it, I'll sign up, and I'm yeah. I'll, I will go there. Like I won't even visit. I'll just have my backpacks and I'll show up and I'll just fucking do this <laughs> shit. I didn't care. So I got accepted. Everything was ready to go, and then my friend Ilya, who's a dumbass, didn't get accepted to Mizzou, and it was like a really easy school to get accepted accepted to and so we completely so i'm just like at least my friend so i can't go to mizzou so i just i pulled out of mizzou wow so, so i wasn't going to mizzou anymore please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the bell notification to get notified about new posts and to help the channel grow and then we decided to go to isu which was um Right which, around here, which is right around here. Yeah, yeah. And um, we went to we, we went to. I what see, kind of grades did you get in high school? A's and B's. I got a C once. Oh, you did good. Yeah, yeah. I so mean, what did you get in the SAT? On the, I didn't take the SAT. How'd you get to college? A ACT. It's oh, in the ACT. Midwest. Oh, what'd you get in the ACT? You probably won't even know. Oh, it's a different score entirely. I, think I got like twenty eight. Oh, that's a different score entirely. Wait a minute. You're saying in the Midwest they don't take SATs? No. Really? Unless you're applying to get into like West Coast schools, then or, you or East Coast schools. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's I didn't what it know is. That. Midwest. Okay. Yeah, Keep going. I, SAT wasn't a thing. But yeah, so we 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 like we applied to go to ISU, which was another college. We picked out our roommate. We picked out our dorm room, and then um, and then we went to go. We went to go drive down there. It was like a three hour drive there, and like we got there. I mean, the second we pulled up, we just started laughing, and we're just like, "What the fuck are we doing? Wow! Like, why are we doing this? Like, we like we we felt like we were. I I, I don't think above the college system is the right word, but like. It just wasn't for us at all. Like, and it was why not? Because it was just so. We didn't care for school. We didn't care to do anything. He wanted to start his own business, and I, I wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. You know. What did you want to do at that point? Well, I was already vining, so I, I knew that oh, vine was like a ticket to something you that would do something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I knew that it was like a, the million dollar ticket to a career in entertainment, at least for the next couple of years. You know what I mean? Right. And so far, it has been, which is fucking incredible. I love Vine. I shout out to Vine. Um, vine two. Vine two's coming back. Yeah, but we just fucking started cracking up. And um, oh, we're funny. we're just like fuck this, we're not doing it. And we pulled out last minute again, ditched out our ditched out our uh, roommate that we already had there. So our roommate had to find a new a new two other roommates to share a room with, like the last minute. So then we just decided, fuck it, we're going to community college. And first day we pull up to community college, we're just like. We're just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> because I mean, if I don't know if you've ever been to a community college, but especially out here, it's 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 kind of, it's scary. You know what I mean? It's like why is it scary? It, it, it's it's just like you can tell a lot of the kids are going there that just don't give a fuck about a lot of things, right? You know what I mean? That are that, and I don't. There's a lot of kids there that really want to get an education sure. and that just can't afford like regular college, right? But there's also a lot of kids there that are just like, I don't give a fuck. But like in like in like a scare in like a way where they're like yeah. I'd rather just be smoking. Dry. I'm, I don't want to make an like no no I, I, yeah, yeah. What, what, how much is like two, like five kids in every classroom of thirty students. But it was it was enough where you would be like ah oh, shit this is kind of scary. What how much did community college cost? I think it was like two thousand for the semester. That's it. Yeah, so, so four thousand for the year. Yeah, it's real. Wow. It's probably like six thousand for the year with all the classes. It's really cheap. It's the it's the smartest move to do if you're like running low on money. Um, or just obviously don't have that much money, but, um, but yeah, so that was, so that was, um, that was that. So we were just like, this is fucking so stupid. Um, cause it was, it was worse than ISU. So the next day, actually the first day we had our classes, we had our first class at like 10 in the morning right? and we got out of there. It was like noon and we were just like, there's no fucking way we can do that. Like we were like just yelling at each other. Like we just sat in the car, the parking lot. We were just like, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? We just started screaming and we're like, no, fuck this. So we drove back down to ISU. You, we're, we're just three hours away, and wow. we went to go talk to like, like one of like the deans there, or like one of like that had people there, to, and we tried to get a meeting with him to, to get re, back in to get back into the school. And a after spending like, we even went and like before we had the meeting, we went to the gift shop and we bought a bunch of <laughs> ISU gear, so we looked like we really loved the school. And um, we put that on. We got into the meeting. We we're dressed up in ISU stuff. Um, and, and he, he, uh, the, like the Dean guy or whatever, the head of admissions goes and talks to, like the other people in the back or whatever. And it's just a no go and they can't let us back in. 
And Why not? Because it was too late. It was like school already started a week ago. Right. So we just thought maybe we can get in late on classes, but it didn't work. And it was just like, yeah, sorry, we can't do anything. So we just continued doing CLC. And then at the same time, after the first semester, we dropped out. Same At the same time? Yeah, about, yeah. We just dropped out. What, now, what was he going to go do? He took over his dad's business. Uh, so he's, and his dad, his dad's like pretty foreign. So yeah. it's easier for Ilya to run the business than his dad. Uh, like he didn't, his dad works for Ilya now. Oh, like really? it just flopped. Yeah, because Ilya, Ilya can just, I think, take care of it better. But, um, but yeah, no, I, and I remember, I don't know if I said this on the podcast, but my last day, my last final in class, I got caught cheating. And like on my final, like I had my phone out and I was texting my friend. I was actually giving him answers. Right. But luckily, um, the teacher came over to me and she's like, give me your phone. Give me your phone. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not. I wasn't cheating. I just, she knew like I was a viner. Right. So I'm like, I was just taking care of work. I was just doing work stuff. Um, I was just figuring something out. I'm not cheating at all. I don't know what I said. I probably said something a lot smarter than that. But, um, but yeah. And then she's like, okay, fine. And I finished my test, and I don't even know what grades I got in college because it just look. didn't fucking matter. Wow, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? Like how, like how much pressure I had on me in college, and like even in high school, like, like the. I mean, I I didn't stress out a lot in school because I was just not that type of kid. Like I knew everything would get done, but like even like the little stresses of like taking a test or like just getting a project done last minute, like it was so irrelevant to the rest of my life. I think it's good you knew you didn't you didn't want to do that. I think that's impressive. I think most people would have gone four years. Yeah, and, and been like, oh fuck, I, why did I do that? And most people are doing it. Like my friend, my my really good friend John, he's been wanting to be a doctor since he's been like ten years old. And is that what he's doing? I mean, now he's like almost starting to change his mind because oh, he's no like because John has John's about to finish college right in like a year, and then he has to take eight more years of school. Oh, Which is fucking shit. nuts. You, he'll, he'll be done when he's 30 years old. And he'll be, what, at $100,000 income? I guess I don't think doc, uh, being a doctor is about the money at all, in my opinion. No, it's, it's, I don't think it is at all. Either. And, and I, I a lot of people here in the Midwest, I, I, I don't want to speak on behalf of everybody, but I know a lot of people, at least in my school, thought that being a doctor is this prestigious thing. But I think it's, I think it's backwards. I don't, I don't think people know how much money is out there. It's like, in the ass. I don't think people people here in the suburbs know like how much you can make by just going out and doing your own thing like just figuring it out yourself yeah well you you got real lucky uh, yes i got lucky but like dude like even like Ilya, like all you have to do is just fucking he picked up his dad's business it was already in place for him yeah but not he, saying Ilya's is like not a talented guy i think he is and you know he's really smart but like you know it's not it's not always that easy to make your own road I know, but it's but it's. I think it's easier than spending twelve years of your life after high school going to school to get a hundred thousand dollar, you know, income. Like I feel like if you move out to New York and you hustle every day right. and you don't even make friends, you just go from job, like workplace to workplace to like try to figure something out or something that you're passionate about. I think it, I think that's so much easier and so much more productive. Yeah, like everyone's doing college. Like I, it's just I just don't think that's a way to stand out. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to be a doctor to help people, then fuck yeah, go be a doctor. But like, but like, I feel like I feel like John, especially like, well, John wanted to be a doctor to help people. Like right. he understood that it wasn't like the biggest income. And now he doesn't want to anymore. Yeah, now he's kind of just like it's so much school, and like he's seeing like what Ilya is doing and what I'm doing, and he's yeah. just like getting impatient. Like it's just like yeah, all that school is frustrating. And it's not that. even it's I'm not even saying it's a waste of time. It's a waste of it's okay. I hate saying it's a waste of time because I I'm actually like a pretty like like positive guy when it comes to college. Like I think, I think most people should go to college, but I think there's some people that are like exceptions and that like, if they actually have a drive to do something else, they shouldn't. I know that kind of goes back on what don't, I don't was just like, saying. Don't you feel like you missed out on something though? No, not fucking at all. At what all? did I miss out on partying? Like I can do that now. I go down to USC once a month and it's, and it's a fucking good time for three hours, but right. I, didn't, I didn't miss out on anything. Like my biggest fear in college was, I knew that like I'm pretty good at making friends, so like I know like the first people I'll be introduced to will be my friends. Right. So whether it's the druggies or whether it's like the cool kids or whether it's like the <laughs> the, the the nerds, you know what I mean? Right. Like whoever it is, right. like those guys will be my friends. And I was always so scared about college. I'm like, fuck, like I think you're gonna pick up all these people. All like of what sudden. if I, what if I'm what if I'm friends all of a sudden with like with like these guys who just like abusing drugs or like drinking a lot and like that just becomes my life. Right. And I was so scared of that. And that's why I'm so happy that I 
I did this whole social media thing because I found like people that like like doing what I do, which I guess is what what college is for is finding like minded individuals, right? Right. And like finding people that do the same stuff as you. I don't know. It's sort of like college, what we're going through. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think college is, is a bad idea. What you're going through, not for me, obviously, but with all your friends of your age. I don't think college is a bad idea for for people. I, I don't really know what what point I was trying to get at from here, but I feel like I was just kind of circling around one point. But what I was trying to say is, it's not only like, is it a waste of time? To some people, but it's the, the biggest thing that like hits me the most is it's a waste of money. My um, like my friend Alex was just telling me um, he has six dollars in his bank account, <laughs> six dollars in his bank account, and he told me this after after he was like after he was like um, is Don making a lot of money? Yeah, and I'm like uh, I mean still not he's still not he's still not killing it yet, and right. he's like. He's like, how much does he have? And I'm like, I don't know how much he's making, but I know he has 14 grand in his bank account. And Alex is like, holy shit, your perception of money is so like skewed. Like he's just like, you have no idea. That's a shit ton of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's just yeah. like, I mean, yeah, I guess it is when you're fucking, you know, he goes to college where he's paying, you know, ten thousand dollars a semester. What's he gonna do when he graduates? What does he wanna do? He hasn't I don't think he's figured it out yet. That's scary fucking terrifying and he's not going to graduate in four years he's going to graduate in six just to get his regular like i don't know bachelor's I what do you call it I, I knew what i wanted to do i waste a lot of money but i did know what i wanted to do. yeah that's the scariest is when you don't know what you want to do yeah um but yeah he's six thousand his bank account he told me the other day he was getting gas and you know how you like in older cars you can take out that thing that like where like the cigarette thing is like that yeah. lights your cigarette there's like a little not a cup holder, but it like holds like extra change. Sure. Like he took that out and he took it with him into the gas station and just spilled it out onto yeah. the desk. And him and the uh, clerk there counted the money. And he's like, uh, you got about $5 here. So Alex put $5 in his car. And as <laughs> he, he didn't a- know how to count. <laughs> yeah. As he was walking to his car, the guy behind him in line goes, make that 10. <laughs> And Alex said that was like one of the best days of his month. Really? Because the guy chipped in an extra five bucks for gas. And it's just like, that's fuck, That's what a college student is. And I don't know. I, I, I'm also in like no place to talk because I did get really lucky. So I can't just be like, don't fucking do college. I, I think any, any like mildly successful, per- I think there's luck involved in everybody's success. Like sure. I, I don't think it's just hard work. So I, I don't know. Like Gary V. I think Gary Vanderchuk, right? Yeah. Doesn't he always like? I, I've only seen like maybe a thirty second clip of him like four times. But doesn't he always talk about? He doesn't like college, right? Yeah, that's what, what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, but like, but like I don't know. It's it's easier said than done, I guess. But kind of just I don't know. I don't I don't know what it's like to like like if I wasn't into social media and I just just wanted to make money. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it like how easy it would be to to do that. I don't know. Something tells me you probably could make money. If you didn't go to college. I if know. Just, if you didn't fall into what you f- you fell into, I know you, you'd I would find figure a way to make money. It's, it's. I mean, you used to do. You used to have Vine theme pages, and you made money, which is really resourceful. Like I didn't. I wouldn't ever thought you could do that. I think I didn't know you could make money that way. I think the way have we talked about that on the podcast? I don't think so. We haven't. No, I think it's pretty interesting too. I think. Um, I, I don't know if we have, but like the way I first made money on Vine is I would have these theme pages that would be like best moments of celebs or like Disney Channel or like fam- best moments of Family Guy, like just stupid shit like that. And I would just repost videos, and it's really what killed Vine. Like it was, it was, it really fucked up Vine. Like, but that that was my income, and that's the only way I moved out to LA. Isn't because I was making Vine money from my personal Vine account because I wasn't getting ads because my content was so dirty. At what point did you figure out that you could make money doing that. I figured it out right away. Like, like, like fifty thousand followers I had, and I was you're like, like, someone, someone will DM you like, hey, I had two hundred dollars for a Revine or something. Yeah, and when you're I like, cool. Yeah, when I was when I hit fifty k on my Vine account, someone hit me up and they're like, hey, I'm working with KFC. They're willing to give you fifty dollars for um, a Vine, and I'm like, are you like? I, I think I said this on the podcast once. I was at Buffalo Wild Wings and I went back to my friends and I'm like, dude, they're gonna give me fifty fucking dollars <laughs> to post a Vine. <laughs> And everybody's faces were just like, what? <laughs> like, like, it's just like, it's just like, it wasn't, I mean, it was jealousy, but it was like the coolest kind of jealousy. They were shit. just like, holy shit, it fucking paid off, David. <laughs> <laughs> 
And like, it was like when I first made my first 50 bucks, everyone was like, what the fuck? And I was like fucking ecstatic. And like, and that's when I found out that you can make money on Vine in like different ways. So I started like a theme page that wasn't me. So I wouldn't have to upload bullshit stuff onto my account and I can make money off another account. And that's how I made my first $1,500 that got me to move out to LA. Um, but but yeah, I don't know. It's it, it, it's tricky. I don't I don't really know. I don't really know how it is moving out by your by yourself and doing that. I don't know. I I feel like if you're motivated enough to drop out of college, and like you have like the balls to drop out of college for good reason, like for like not for like so you can hang out and bum around with your friends, right. but you're like I'm gonna fucking do this, and right. you're like seriously gonna do it. Then I think you have you'll have no fucking problem at all. Is it you have a lot of cologne on right now? No, or not is at that all. This room. It's this room. It's very colonial. Thank you. Actually, it could... do you have cologne on? No, it's not. I mean, you could go ahead and smell me. Do we have the same jacket on again? We have the same jacket on again. But um, but yeah, okay. Moral of the story is um, huh, yeah. Moral of the story. Wrap it up. Draw. Um, draw. I think you. I think you. I think you spoke well. Yeah. Very d- articulate on the topic. Don't drop out of college, but drop out of college if you want to. Perfect. I don't. I how is your How is your family? Last time we went, last time I fucking talked about college, I got a fucking email from my mom. He's telling my eleven year old daughter to drop out of college. Yeah, that was your. You did that live. Yeah, we did a live podcast. That's not what I'm. I don't know. Don't take advice from me. No, take advice from you. Why wouldn't you take advice from you? You're a successful young man. You're right, and I got here by doing tons of heroin. So, oh, gee, God, I'm kidding. That out. I don't, I'm, want, I don't want people to know that about you. Your mom <laughs> asked me not to. Can we cut that out? Yeah, I'll, yeah. Don't worry. I'll definitely take. All right. What were you, What were you saying? Take out, hold on, uh, take out heroin <laughs> portion where David says he's addicted to heroin. Okay, take it out. Just make sure you, you don't leave it in because it'll be fucking awkward <laughs> if it's still Don't in. worry, buddy. I got your back. I will not forget to take out the part where I can't you wa- do can't wait heroin. To get, I can't wait to get a tweet tomorrow from someone just being like, uh, guys, <laughs> you forgot to take out the heroin part. <laughs> By the way, um, should I really drop out of college? 